but there are growing concerns also about the increasing number of uh, homeless children and uh, women struggling in the national capital. According to the Gender Ministry, there is an estimated 50,000 homeless persons in the country. CEO and founder of the Team CSR, uh, that Jonathan Ikema, believes that more needs to be done to provide a safety net for the vulnerable in society. He made the call uh, when his foundation visited the Porter's Village Shelter at Dodua here in Accra. Providing a safety net for the vulnerable in Ghana has become an albatross in the neck of successive governments. Loitering on the streets by homeless children in the national capital is commonplace. While successive governments have initiated interventions to deal with the situation, it seems to have made little impact in getting the children off the streets. Speaking at a ceremony to present educational material to children at the Porter's Village Shelter for battered women, and children at Dodua, founder of the Team CSR Ghana, Jonathan Ikema, called on corporate Ghana and public spirited individuals to assist government in and homelessness in the country. It's a major, major problem, and I know you know we depend so much on the government, but the government can't do everything. Um, we, as individuals, as corporations especially, need to stand up and help facilities such as this be able to grow and have the capacity to help more. And so we're hoping that again, corporations will sit, will uh, stand up. We're hoping that through the our diaspora system, more will come back and build even facilities like this. We need another shelter for battered women and children. The organization donated laptops, books, school bags, stationaries, and commissioned a mechanized borehole at a cost of 70,000 Ghana CDs. Mr. Ikuyamwa believes the gesture will go a long way to ease the burden on the shelter. Uh, school is about to start again. We're starting the new uh, school semester in about another two, three weeks. So we wanted to make sure that these kids are prepared for the new school year. And so I think these laptops will go a long way to helping them be prepared. I think the book bags will go a long way to helping them uh, carry their books and items to school. And so um, education is important and our kids are important. And so that's why we came here today to do this presentation. Director of Porter's Village Shelter for Parted Women and Children, Nanama Edu Owusu, who received the item, expressed gratitude to the organization while calling for more support, especially in the completion of an ongoing accommodation facility at the village in order to create a conducive environment for nurturing children to become responsible citizens. Today we are blessed to have Team CSR and Mr. Jonathan Ekwamwa together with the Sigma Gamma Ru visit the Porter's village to make a beautiful donation. We saw laptops, we saw books, stationery, and we are so excited because in my previous uh, statement I was saying that here we school our children here from the preschool to grade 6 and then when they move to GHS they go to the community. But unfortunately because we do not have access to laptops for example, when we are doing our ICT lessons we write on boards. I don't know how we can use the theory on board to teach these children effectively. So the donation of the laptop is such a great relief to us and we are so grateful, we are thankful to them, Team CSR, for, I mean, consistently they've been here linking us to borehole, someone to do the borehole for us, bringing this donation. Sometimes they bring in people here to do lunch for the children and we are thankful to them. But one of the major challenges now, are the, for now, has to do with our ongoing projects. They are not done and we need support in terms of building materials. I said earlier too that there are people who don't believe the credibility of organizations. Our case is different. If you come here, if you visit us at the Potters Village, you will see that ours is different because everything we receive goes into the children, into our project, into paying of staff, everything it shows directly. So if we get the support in terms of building materials, if you are not sure, don't bother, don't bring the money, buy the building materials and tell us, I want you to put it in, for example, the girls' dormitory. You will come and 